10, 11, and 12 are translating our vector. So if I think about it, if I have my vector, it has an initial point at 1, 4. So over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, there's my initial point. My end point is at 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My terminal point or end point would be at 3, 6, and my vector would go like that. Now what they want you to do is translate it so the initial point is at the origin. So if my initial point is going to go to the origin, I'm going to move it back 1 and down 4. Right? So it's just really the opposite of what these values are here, because if I was at 1, 4, I'd have to go back 1 and down 4 to get back to the origin. So if my terminal point is at 3, 6, and I go back 1 and down 4, I would then end up at 2, 2, right? If I go to the left 1 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, now my vector is going like that and would be at 2, 2 if I could draw straight. And so my new terminal point there is at the point 2, 2. Number 11, same kind of thing. My vector has an initial point at 2, negative 1. So 2 over down 1 is my initial point. My terminal point is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Somewhere down there. So my vector's going like this. I want to move it so that its initial point is back at the origin. So if it's going to go back to the origin, I'm going to go back one, two places. So minus my two. And then I have to go up one. So plus my one. Notice again, I'm just at the opposite of what I originally had my initial point at. I want to find where my new terminal point is. So if I go to the left 2 and up 1, I would be at 3, negative 5 for my new point. So if I was here, I went to the left 1, 2, and up 1. There's my new end point. Whoops, if I could draw straight, my new vector would be going like that and would be at 3, negative 5. If I put that down, put that up a little high because my lines aren't very straight. But I would go back 2 and up 1. I'm really far off. There we go, that's a little closer. Back to and up one, and I end up at my new spot. <coughs> so, on this one, my vector has an initial point of negative four, two. So if it is at negative four, two, I would have to go positive four and down two to get back to the origin. So my terminal point was at negative 1, 5. I'm going to go positive 4 and down 2. And so now I'm going to be at 3, 3 for my new terminal point. So really, without drawing the graph, which you can do, you're just going to do the opposite of these. My initial point is at negative 4, positive 2. I'm going to add 4 and subtract 2 from my terminal point, and I can find the location of my new terminal point. <laughs>